Tim, a, a late sucker punch has, has been our undoing uh, today. What was your assessment of the game? <clears throat> um, well, first of all, yeah, you're right. I mean, I'm absolutely gutted not to, to get a, a point out of it. Um, probably the, the goal symptomatic, you know, of, of the season to date. Um, I thought I thought we were okay to start with. Uh, obviously, studied them. You know, they like they like a switch of play. They play a, a quite a possession-based uh, style. Uh, they like to get in between your lines. Um, so we went with that shape, just stay nice and compact in midfield, um, with the wing backs making a five. So it negated the switches of play. And then obviously with Efron and people and Harry Taylor with legs and Hooper, uh, you know, counter attack would would be a threat. We, we've got obviously some bigger lads in the team now, so we can be a threat from from restarts. Um, I thought they had a lot more possession than us, obviously, but we still had. I mean, Hooper's obviously it's a uh, uh, you know a goal out of the blue. He robs a kid, brilliant finish. I thought Hooper was was all right first half. He looked a threat. Um, they had a lot of possession without really working Loche. They got into some good areas and didn't, didn't sort of nothing happened with it. Um, we had one or two flashes. Um, second half, I, I, I didn't like the shape. Then it wasn't working. I thought they were getting two v one overloads out in the wide. Our two wide players probably weren't getting back in quickly enough, um, and then, then it was leaving our wing back sort of two v ones. Um, so we flicked it to a to a four four two. I thought it was a few blowing. If I'm honest, towards the end, um, but a 4-4-2, I thought then we got sort of a handle on it a little bit. I don't think remember Lochi throwing himself around too much. But the, uh, listen, we had a, a little um, Patrasso came on, put a couple of great balls in that we ain't, we should be throwing ourselves at, and we're nowhere near. Um, and the goal, the goal's an absolute sickener. Uh, listen, he knows, he knows what he's got to do. Um, I think Jerome's got to get his out of his feet and he's just got to leave it in behind him uh, but we get turned over here just by the halfway line the counter attack and of course it, I mean it deflected off something I couldn't see obviously from here but listen it's an absolute choker because if we if we go away from this with a with a point at least we've got something to show for a football match and maybe uh, a little bit of a foothold but um, listen we start again on uh, on Monday sort of review this park it on Monday have a chat and move on to obviously what's going to be an extremely tough game and an important game for us on Tuesday night. You mentioned it there, for all of Altrium's possession, I don't recall Scott Loach making a real big yeah. save of note. That must be sort of doubly frustrating. And then I guess the other frustrating aspect is we didn't quite make the chances we maybe would have liked in the second half. Yeah, listen, we had a we got a couple of set plays to ground and. Once they start of understand, start understanding properly what I'm what I'm talking about, we're we're a, we're a back foot team. We we take a step back rather than a step forward, and that's symptomatic with a lack of, a little bit of lack of confidence. Uh, obviously, you know what's gone before. Um, you know teams that are on top of their game and confident go bang and they step up against you uh, and and make life very difficult for you. We don't. We we sit off. There was at times where our back three were marking one man instead of one pushing, squeezing, locking on, uh, and, and competing for loose balls. But what happens is it drops to them and they turn and run at you, and then you're even in even more trouble. Um, and as I say, Petrasso got a couple of good good balls in. Um, either team created massive amount second half, but my, my message there is: listen, you you've got to learn to see a game out. I'm not being funny. There's some experienced boys in there. There's some experienced lads at this level. They know the league. Uh, you know, and they, they should know how to see a football match out. Uh, and at times, listen, don't disrespect a point ever in football. You know, a, it could be a big, big point for us, and we've let it slip from our grasp. And I'm, you know, listen, I'm absolutely gutted. We had a a really good week into it. We prepped properly. Um, we did all the stuff, showed them all the stuff. And to lose like that, so as you said at the top of it, is a real, a real kick in the stomach. Of course, we had three new centre backs across our, our back line. And I thought they they were very good for throughout, throughout the game. What was your take on on their performance playing together for the first time as well? Yeah, they, they are. I mean, there's, <clears throat> obviously, young Themis is a is a young lad, a younger one. Um, he was blowing the twenty to go. Listen, the uh, twenty three football's great. Under twenty three is is all all well and good. But I'm telling you now, that is he's faced nothing like what he's just faced there. The, the, I sort of said to him a little bit as well. Altrinham, there aren't many teams in this division play like Altrinham. Yeah, they were, they were, you know, they rotated, they kept it 
kept, you know, they went from a, the, a back four, the centre midfield stepping in, which we showed them on the tape to make a three. The fullbacks going high and wide, and the the wide men coming inside, so they to try to work your overloads on the switch and, and overloads in the central areas, and they do it really well. Listen, I, I said to them yesterday, you know, people they. I don't know whether they crept under the radar. They, they were sixth in the division before. They're obviously higher than that now, I think. But, you know, I said, be, be humble. These, these are a good side. I've watched them play this year on a number of occasions. They're a good team. Um, you know, Tuesday night will be a little bit different. Dover stick it on you and, and get it up to, the, to um, Aziz up top and, and their second balls. And it'll be more of a rumble, I would think. But, um, yeah, I thought the back three did OK. I thought they did OK, uh, like you say, all, all debuting. I know Liam and... Ben Everton, obviously, and they'll be better for the game. Certainly, Ben uh, and and Femi. Liam's been playing a bit for Gloucester, but um, the, the, the bottom line is, though, it, it, at this moment, it's hard for me to be double positive. Um, listen, I, I will be on Monday because I've got it out of my system. But um, you know, I, I, we desperately need to, to to get something on the on the board and, and start getting picking up some points. And they know that they're not stupid. No one's stupid and got their head buried in the sand here. Um, and listen, I'll, I'll analyse it I'll, and you know, have some conversations. Do, do we need a couple more in, into the building? You know, we we are we've got one or two floating back from injury, but they're still a, they won't certainly two of them won't be in the group till back end of next week. So, you know, in terms of um, McBurney and um, Doofus, so we probably won't be seeing them next Saturday. So, listen, uh, I'll reflect and have a think about it. But um, all in all, I thought. Was it better than the previous two? Yes, yes, it was. So in that way, it was a, a, a little step forward, but we've got to stop shooting ourselves in the foot. Just lastly, I assume the heads will probably be, be down because of the late goal. Is it about sort of picking ourselves up, taking the positive aspects of our performance mm. today and now really going into what is a big game on Tuesday night yeah, at Dover? Big, like, so we've got 29 massive games now. It, make no mistake, you know, it's, um, it ain't just Dover, it's, then it's Torquay, you know, then it's Old Shape. We have got every single game for us is, is a World Cup final. So, we, we, listen, there, there's some one or two younger ones, there's some men in there. I, I, I do not expect to see moping and groping around. Man up, listen, come in like a man, take it on the chin. It was our fault, it was our fault at the end. We should have done the right thing and seen the game out, and we didn't. But. You know, I've, I've said my bit and I ain't one for, for reprisals and, and scapegoats and all that. It's been done, it's been said and move on. You know, we've got, as you say, we've got a, another game on Tuesday and we've got to go down there, roll our sleeves up and, and, and fight for this football club. And that's, listen, while I'm here, that, that, that every single player in there will fight for this football club, tooth and nail.